Yes, CalDigit has finally taken the wraps off of their brand new Thunderbolt Station 4 dock, or TS4. This brand new Thunderbolt dock has 18 ports of connectivity, but how does that compare to their existing TS3 Plus? Hey, I'm Jerry, and CalDigit was kind enough to send me their brand new flagship TS4 dock, which I used to create a video showing the unboxing and an in-depth overview of all 18 ports on the brand new TS4. But in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick overview and show you the differences between the new TS4 and the existing TS3 Plus. But this video is not sponsored or paid for by CalDigit. And if you're still trying to get your hands on one of these TS4 docks, the good news is you can still pre-order it on B&H Photo for hopefully a February delivery. So I'll put a link in the description below so you can find it and I'll update it when Amazon links become available. All right, so getting right into it, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that these guys are obviously from the same family. You can see that the design language is almost the exact same on all sides. This is a full aluminum enclosure and on the top and sides, you do have this fin design which helps with heat dissipation. And if you're familiar with the TS3 Plus, you'll know that this design is like rock solid. This thing just feels premium. And the TS4 is the same way. Now comparing them side by side, you'll see that the TS4 is a bit larger than the TS3 Plus. And I don't have the specs in front of me, but you'll see that it is about half an inch to three quarters of an inch deeper and maybe about quarter to half an inch taller than the TS3 Plus. Both of these docks can be oriented in either the vertical or horizontal position. They both come with these rubber feet on the sides that allow you to place it in a horizontal position under a monitor or on a desk or you know, just leave it up vertically. Now, when we start to look at the ports on the front of these devices, you'll start to see some differences in the ports. The TS4 includes 18 ports and the CalDigit TS3 Plus includes 15 ports. If we start on the left-hand side of both, we have the SD card readers. On the TS3 Plus, you have a single UHS-2 card reader for full-size SD cards. On the TS4, you actually get two separate UHS-2 card readers, one for SD card and one for micro SD. And you can actually use both of those SD slots at the same time on the TS4. So if you have an SD card for a camera and a micro SD card for audio, you can actually insert both of those cards and pull in data simultaneously from both of those cards. The TS3 Plus had a USB-C and USB-A port on the front for easy connectivity of peripherals and devices, and those were limited at five gigabits per second. With the TS4, all of the USB ports on the TS4 are actually 10 gigabit per second USB ports. Now the standard USB-A and USB-C ports are all seven and a half watts on both the TS3 and the TS4, except for this front USB-C port on the TS4. This front USB-C port can actually output up to 20 watts of power, making it perfect for charging high-powered devices or even for things like Apple's MagSafe charging puck. On the backside, we're gonna see even more changes on the TS4 compared to the TS3 Plus. First off, on the top left, you're gonna see Ethernet. And on the TS3 Plus, you get one gigabit Ethernet, which is the same Ethernet connection that almost every device that you probably have is. But the TS4 actually comes with 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, which is up to two and a half times faster. Now, trust me when I say that if you have a 2.5 gigabit switch or router and something like a NAS that has 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, you're gonna see way faster transfer speeds than you would get normally with one gigabit Ethernet. And if you have multi-gig internet coming into your house, first of all, you're lucky SOB, and second, you can actually take advantage of it when using Ethernet through the TS4. Both of these devices, the TS3 and the TS4, do have four USB-A ports on the back. And again, the USB-A ports on the TS3 Plus are five gigabits per second, whereas the USB-A ports on the TS4 are all 10 gigabit per second. And where that comes in handy is something like an external SSD that has 10 gigabit per second connection through USB-A or USB-C, like this guy, which can get you up to about a gigabyte per second in transfer speeds. On the rear, each of these have a single USB-C data port, which are both capable of 10 gigabits per second, and they both have DisplayPort for video out. On the TS3 Plus, it is DisplayPort 1.2, and CalDigit supports 4K at 60 hertz, but on the TS4 with DisplayPort 1.4, you can get up to 144 hertz at 4K and up to 240 hertz at 1440p. And I don't currently have any high refresh rate displays to test with this right now, but I should hopefully in the next week. Now, when it comes to audio on the rear, CalDigit made some changes here as well. On the TS3 Plus, you had optical audio out, which allowed you to connect to things like receivers or other professional audio equipment. But as I understand it, that was a very rarely used port on the TS3 Plus. And on the TS4, now you have separate audio in and out jacks on the back side. And this is great for connecting speakers full time. And when you connect headphones to the front, 
this port will then take over and become the default for audio output. All right, so two things left to talk about, Thunderbolt ports and power. With the TS3 Plus, you had two Thunderbolt ports. One of those goes to the computer and then one of those goes to a device. So you could connect that to an additional monitor if you wanted to, or you can connect it to some fast external storage or an eGPU, anything like that. The TS4, on the other hand, has two additional Thunderbolt 4 ports along with the connection for the computer. The nice thing about having an additional Thunderbolt port on the TS4 is that if one of your displays or your only display is connected via USB-C or Thunderbolt, then you still have an additional Thunderbolt port on the back of the dock to be able to connect some fast external storage like a Thunderbolt SSD. Let me address one thing that I saw in the comments over the last few days, which was a concern about too many ports on a single Thunderbolt 4 connection. The Thunderbolt 4, like Thunderbolt 3, maxes out at 40 gigabits per second. So if you're reading something from a Thunderbolt SSD at 2,800 megabytes per second, that's about half the bandwidth of Thunderbolt 4. And add in a couple of 10 gigabit per second SSDs, along with a 5K display and 2.5 gigabit ethernet, and you could max out the connection. But CalDigit does say that displays take priority, so you shouldn't see any issues with displays. And with my basic testing, I was still able to get around the maximum 2,800 megabits per second using an external Thunderbolt SSD while having the LG 5K ultrafine display connected to the dock as well. And when it comes to power, the TS3 Plus can output up to 87 watts of power through the Thunderbolt connection, and the TS4 can output up to 98 watts of power through that Thunderbolt connection. And I've used both these docks with the 16 inch MacBook Pro with M1 Max and have had zero issues with any power requirements. They provide more than enough power for regular use. Heck, even with the Element Hub that gives you 60 watts of power, that's still more than enough power for regular use. I think that the only time you would ever see any power drain while using either one of these devices to power your 16 inch MacBook Pro with M1 Max is if you're pushing it to 110% for 20 hours straight you're really not gonna have any issues. Even with heavy workloads, once those workloads subside, they provide more than enough power to recharge your MacBook. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the differences between the new TS4 from CalDigit and the TS3 Plus. The TS4 runs around $360 on CalDigit's website and the TS3 Plus runs around $300. The ports on these devices are just slightly different. If you need optical audio output and you don't need to connect the fastest storage available, then the TS3 Plus is gonna be great and you'll save $60, but still get a ton of ports. If you're using a Thunderbolt or USB-C display and you need fast external Thunderbolt storage, and maybe you have a couple of different SD cards you like to use at the same time, and maybe you need multi-gig Ethernet, then the TS4 is the way to go. But what do you guys think? Does the TS4 have everything that you want in a Thunderbolt dock? Let me know below. If you're interested in getting the fastest external Thunderbolt storage for your M1-based Macs, then check out this video right over here. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.